Hi everybody, this is a video of the Europa GEC 5 foot twin pack fluorescent strip light with Natura T8 fluorescent tubes. As you can see, I thought I'd do a video of this strip light with Natura T8 fluorescent tubes like I'm doing now. And as you can see on it, this one says, um, Sylvania Food Star Meat uh, 58 Watt Dash T8 www.sylvania lighting.com made in Germany. And the same thing on this one here. And um, it says on it, uh, Sylvania Food Star Meat, F58 Watch T8. But they're both saying, they're both uh, sister tubes. That's why I definitely call them both in the same family. But I thought I'd do a video of this uh, GEC fitting with two Natura fluorescent tubes. So anyway, guys, all it is now, it's just turn on at the main socket. It'll be ready to fire up in one second as, I, as soon as I um, switch off the big lights now, everybody. So... Right, that's it now, guys. The big lights are gone out now. So onto the the Europa GEC fluorescent strip light with the Natura T8 fluorescent tubes. Everybody, right? Ready, everybody? After three, one, two, three. Wow! And as you can see, they definitely blinked happy, and um, and they both made a right. They sound like jingling bells. They did those ballasts inside. But as you can see, it shines a very nice pink colour. Yeah, but they're both uh, they're both quite dim though because they've already just started firing up. But the very ends on in each tube, at the very uh, in the, each one of the ends, are all um, uh, getting brighter. But in the very middle part, in both of the tubes, they're both. Uh, both are quite dim, but they will take a full while to fully bright up, brighten up though. But so don't worry, guys. So all it's doing now is just uh, warming up. But it feels like uh, we're back in the butcher shop, and that that reminds me of uh, the old market what we used to have years ago, but that got knocked down. But anyway, so as you can see, it reminds me like being in an old supermarket where there's doing butcher meat and everything. Yeah. So um, so as you can see, and it's lit my carpet a nice pink cool. It looks very pink when I looked at it from my eyes it's like a yogurty pink colour yeah but but as you can see when I look at it when I hold it closer you can see um you can see right you can see the both of the ends are getting brighter but the bin the, the very middle parts the centre is still dim but it does take a while to warm up a bit and, and as you can see it looks like it's very nice oh let's sit this way so as you can see very nice pink colour and I've never really done it this in the Natura tubes in this fitting before and that's the very first time like I did with daylight cool daylight fluorescent tubes in each in the last video doing throughout this fitting and um, the very first video of it is when I did one with T12 tubes in it and um, and it was um, and it was so that was more longer video because I took you to see what was inside and then that's all the power stations I made mean, right jingling bells and everything so and um, let's look up all around my room and everything. It's shining up all all around my room and like like very nice pink colour in the shadow and the reflection. So and um, yeah, it looks nice. That it's both uh, giving out um, 500 watts of light in this room from those two tubes. So they're both making up 250 watts of brightness. Yeah. So um, it's um, getting a lot brighter, but it's just taking a while. But but as you can see, it's got the extension on it, and it's uh, it's like going back to the olden days when you look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tube. Both uh, both named Sylvania, but I bought a, a, another one came. Well, I had two coming this morning because it came from eBay. But that's for if, in case in the future, if I ever do uh, a single pack strip light with a with a, a twin pack strip light with a Natura fluorescent tube, and that'll be in the next couple of videos in the future, guys. So. And as you can see, and that's uh, where I stack my uh, light switch. It's a very nice old vintage switch with the red neon indicator on it. Yeah, and uh, the pick, the flip. Well, the switch is showing downwards. So in America, they tend to be opposite. They point upwards to show the lights on. But but when you look at it now, it looks like it's like it's fully getting brighter now. Yeah, it's like oh god, it's like it's like being in an old market. Like gives me my childhood memories. It gives out that very meaty smell in old markets, like um, in lots of these butchers and everything. And nowadays now, a lot of these uh, butcher meat shops and still be fitted with uh, those Natura T8 fluorescent tubes. Especially, you know, lots of them are going into LED. I hope sometime in the future, I hope I'll find, try and find a metal halide bulb that's got a Natura um, Kelvin, like what these two strip lights, well, those two strip tubes have and everything, guys. So, and that's all it is, so... 
looks like it's uh, looks like it's fully reached its brightness now so anyway guys all i'm going to do now is turn off the tubes and what well, turn them back on and show you what happens here we go Right, that's it now. The strip lights have gone out now, everybody. It went really red when I turned them off. But so, uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, all I'm going to do now is turn the strip light back on now, everybody. Here we go. Wow. And as you can see, they both uh, did blink happy in the mid, right? Jangling noises and everything. Yeah. So, um, <sighs> let's go up to the other end just to show, oh, just to show you guys. And as you can see, it looks like nice all pink and everything. And um, it's got this little... Uh, that's like a, a ring. You usually put an extension through it. And this little line there is usually... It's got that little chain that holds the end cap in place. When I when I took this strip light apart to give it a good wash out. But you have to excuse all those little rusty flurries on it. But don't we have... It is, it is quite of an old fitting though. That's why it's showing its age. But it's a real good fitting though. It's too good to be thrown away. And the same thing on the end of this strip light as well. Yeah, it's like, like lollipop sticks sticking out on each side of the strip light. Yeah, so so anyway, so, well, anyway guys, so as you can see now, the Europa GC fluorescent strip light is fully reached its full brightness at Nichuren. 58 watts warm and 250 watts bright each that makes 500 watts of light of M and everything, guys. So all I'm going to do now is switch out this strip light now. So, right, that's it now. The strip light's gone out now, everybody. So I'm going to turn this big light back on now. Right, that's it now, guys. Uh, the big lights are back on now, everybody. So anyway, guys, uh, this is a video of the, the Europa GEC fluorescent twin pack strip light with the Natura T8 fluorescent tubes and everything, everybody. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. So please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching everybody.